so we came out to Saluda Shoals Park today to do our walk and I figured I would also get some more footage and just walk and talk about my YouTube journey and experience and then I had a meeting this morning with one of my clients and it's a person that I'm actually mentoring on my team there and they asked me, Bernard, how do you do what you do? Like what is your typical day that look like? And also earlier this week I ran into someone um, with a, a vendor and they were asking me about my YouTube channel and I said well why don't you have one because you know, she's such a cute petite lady um, she's 45 I think she said and so and then she does all these things like Airbnbs and, and, and things like that just stuff that pharmacists don't normally do and I thought it was pretty cool um, but she said I just don't know how to get started and I'm like there's so many videos out here showing you how to get started. And she's like, but I just don't know. But what it dawned on me was people don't necessarily know who those people are that they're following. And so uh, I know I go out and I look for people, but sometimes people want to know it from somebody who's actually doing it and somebody that they actually know. Um, so I'm going to start taking some time just to go out and show people what my YouTube journey has been and just be able to share my experiences because although it's the same material that I've learned from somebody else, it's me putting my own spin and how it actually worked or didn't work for me. So I'm going to be doing that. I am not going to be trying to get in to teach and coach anybody or create any kind of courses um, on social media strategy because that's just not what I want to do. But I think it'll still be cool just to be able to show people what I actually um, do and whose advice I took and did it work or did it not work. Uh, and so I'm just going to walk and talk because I need my steps. And it's pretty. So I don't get to come out here often. Uh, and I'm telling you this whole five minute fitness series is really what's calling me to do some different things uh, because I was going to just walk at the complex today, but then I was like, that's boring. Uh, and I can do that at any time. And so then I was gonna go to the dam, but I didn't really feel like it. So I just decided to come out to Saluda Shoals. I hadn't been out here much. And then I brought my computer because I'm going to attempt to write up my speech for the white coat ceremony tomorrow I'll finish it up anyways i've got some of it already written so i plan to finish that up uh, and get that submitted while i'm out here it costs five dollars to enter the park which is not that bad uh, so i figured i'd just take advantage of being able to be out here and all that good stuff so how do i get started on youtube i really had a conversation with my two of my cousins about starting a channel and just trying to grow it and share the knowledge that we have. Um, one of my cousins is very funny uh, and so his channel was going to be around entertainment and then my other cousin, her stuff was probably going to be around some motivational things and so I'm literally the only one who actually started posting videos. Uh, neither one of them has started yet to my knowledge. And so I probably got 60 plus videos out. And when I started, it was gonna be on four different uh, pillars, which was gonna be entrepreneurship, faith, fitness, and Medicare or managed care. And you'll hear this all the time about this algorithm. Well, I know I was throwing my algorithm off because it didn't know whether to send me 65 plus year olds or to send me 30 year old people who wanted to start a business or folks who were depressed and needed a word from the Lord. Uh, <laughs> so I have since moved all of my Medicare videos to its own channel. It's called Medicare Knowledge. Um, and that's where I'm gonna be posting all of my Medicare specific content. And then, oh, this is a nice little area out here. I forgot about it. This might be where I come to set up for my, to write up my stuff that I need to do. This is pretty nice. It'd be nice to rent it out too. So yeah, um, and I think they got bathrooms over there, which I'm gonna have to use in a little bit. But anyways, so I will say now I am no longer posting the Medicare videos on my main page. It's just mainly around entrepreneurship, faith, and fitness. And I think that's going to help the algorithm. And it's also gonna help me to know what to post, when to post, that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm trying to be consistent. And from a consistency standpoint, I also don't wanna just post to post. I want things to be of value. So right now I have a 90 day, five minute fitness going on. 
um, which is this basically me go doing a five minute recap each day of a challenge that I'm doing to help get myself back in shape. And so the past couple of days, this has been around getting 7,000 steps, whether you've got an easy schedule or you have a hectic schedule like I did earlier this week. Um, and then uh, the most recent video was after a night of too much alcohol and what did that do for my goals? And so just trying to make sure I'm staying consistent with it and literally I almost gave up on day three because the 7,000 steps is not coming because I slept and was just had no energy throughout the day because I had been drinking the night before. So just trying to be mindful and literally the only reason I probably got up, I ain't the only reason, I know the only reason I got up and actually did the work was because I knew I had to post this video and I wanted to post a video so I couldn't just give up on day three like I normally would have. And we're gonna pause for a second. So that was the other piece. It's just about vlogging in public and people seeing that you're talking to yourself or talking to a camera, which this little DJI Osmo Pocket 3 makes it less obnoxious, I think, um, but it doesn't make it less conspicuous because people are asking, well, what is that little thing? And so it actually draws more attention than one would think. All right, so yeah. I just want to be able to share my journey um, and then I'm over 40 and 44 years old, be 45 in November and so I've heard a lot of people talk about starting YouTube channels after the age of 40 and just being able to share our experiences uh, with the younger generation. I follow a lot of young influencers and it's pretty cool but we also have some things that we need to share with other folks. Um, so. If you are over 40 and you're interested in starting a channel, I say just do it. I've learned so much throughout the process, just from editing my videos, coming up with content. I think it's made me a better presenter, a better communicator. Uh, and so all the research that you have to do, it really is pretty fun and enjoyable. Uh, if you want to learn something new, oh shit, something in the water. I am not a nature person, okay? <laughs> uh, this is totally not Renarda, but we'll do it for the sake of different shots. Okay, so I'm just gonna be sharing some of my journey uh, so that we can, I can inspire people that may follow me, that may know me and just wanna know how I did it versus going out and talking to a, a total stranger. Um, so that's really all I wanted to say. Also, what I've learned on this whole YouTube journey is just being, just realizing what all I do know and how to actually take that information and put it into something that other people uh, want to know about. So what I've gotten out of my YouTube channel so far is just being able to have a creative outlet. It is something fun outside of work. Uh, it has given me a new sense of community building and being a part of a community and it really 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 helps me to just be able to share what I know with others uh, which is I have a true passion about is just helping others become better uh, showing people what I do and just being in a teaching mode so that has been super helpful for me and hopefully for others um, so that's pretty much all I have about why I started my YouTube journey and why I think it's important for other people, especially folks over 40 and 30 and 50 and different generations to share their story as well.